It's worthwhile noting the very serious difference between nations with a Christian foundation and those with another religion, Buddhist, Hindu, Shinto, Muslim. But you can also divide up the Christian world and show the serious differences between Orthodox, Catholic, and Protestant. If you just look at Africa, those countries that were colonized by Catholic colonial powers, Belgium, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, the Catholic countries didn't do as good a job as the Protestant colonial powers. Because if you look at Africa today, you can see where the Protestants colonized, where the Germans and the British colonized, they've got a far higher standard of literacy, double, even treble that of the Catholic parts of Africa. They have got the main independent press. In fact, any country in Africa where you find independent press, they probably have a Protestant majority and they had Protestant colonial powers. It's in English-speaking parts of Africa in particular that you find a free press and multi-party democracies, if they're anywhere at all. Whereas in the places where Catholicism colonized, the ex-French and Portuguese colonies and so on, those are where they've had multiple coup d'etats, multiple civil wars, multiple revolutions, many assassinations, uh, one-party dictatorship, the one-party dictatorship controls the press, the radio and so on. And in a sense, this makes sense because it's the Protestants who emphasized sola scriptura, which led to constitutionalism, uh, the priests of all believers, which led to the whole principle of having a representative government um, and, and individual liberties, and everything that the Protestant faith stood for, such as people needing to read, uh, improved education and improved standards, and the fact that my conscience is kept to the word of God, freedom of conscience, freedom of movement, freedom of association, freedom of the press, all of this is encapsulated in Martin Luther's great stand. Here I stand, I can do no other, my conscience captive the word of God. So the Protestant nations have led to greater freedom and greater productivity and greater uh, uh, variety and diversity than you'd ever get in the Catholic areas where you've got to trust the Pope, the one man at the top, or the dictator, or the king, or whatever he happens to be. And so uh, it's, it shouldn't surprise us that in Africa, for example, you can tell immediately the massive difference, is a, it's a night and day difference between those countries that have a Catholic majority or Protestant majority or were colonized by the Catholics or the Protestants. Even Europe, the most prosperous, productive parts of Europe happen to have had a Protestant heritage. And you can't compare the productivity and prosperity of the Catholic south of Europe from the Protestant north of Europe when you look at it. And similarly in the Americas, if the Catholics had gone to North America, and the Protestant Puritans had gone to South America, where do you think the United States of America would be today? It's not the ge geography that made America what America is. It's the faith of the Puritans. It's the Protestant faith. It's the Protestant work ethic that made America the powerhouse of industry and the tremendously innovative and free country that it has been through most of its history. And therefore, I think people need to recognize that it's the Protestant Reformation that has led to all of these great freedoms and great prosperity and productivity.